All right, one of the tests I wanted to do was how accurate the uh, output of this thing is. It does have a stuffed attenuator, so this, this model is fancier than this standard model as it has a uh, stepped attenuator to allow you to lower the power output of the, uh, of the generator. So I have it set to zero dBm now. Um, let's go to minus 10. And I'm measuring it here. If you're, is that in the, oh, that's not in the picture, sorry. All right, let's go, let's do this again. Let's do this again. Um, so I have a power meter on it, so I'm measuring here. So let's go back to zero dBm. Um, so zero to eight, looks good. Minus, minus 10, minus 20, minus 30. And I think you can hear the relay clicking too. I mean, the stepped attenuator clicking minus 30, minus 40. Very nice. Minus 50. Uh, a little bit off at minus 50, and then minus 60 is as low as it goes, and it doesn't quite get there. So the thing is usable to minus 50. Um, it'll go a little lower than that, but it's not accurate. All right, let's go in the plus direction. Let's go back to zero dBm. Now this thing goes actually quite high, and my uh, sensor uh, says absolute maximum of plus 20 plus 23, and I think that's where this maxes out at plus 23 too, but that makes me too nervous to get that close. So I'm gonna put a 10 dB pad uh, on, the, uh, on the output so I can't get above the rating of my power meter. All right, so now we're gonna measure minus 10 instead of zero, but we can go in the power meter and add an offset of 10 and uh, now we're measuring zero dBm, there we go. All right, so then let's tell the analyzer to go to plus 10. There we go, 10.15, uh, plus 15, plus 20. Wow, now it puts plus 20 just fine. And it says uh, in the picture here, it says performance not recommended or not guaranteed. So how, how far do you have to go down Let's, let's do it here, let's do it 15. Does it allow 15? No. Does it allow 10? Yes, it allows 10. Does it allow 11? Yeah, 12, 13, 13, no. So it allows up to plus, plus 12. And then how high will it actually go all the way? Because it, it says plus 23, but it's only putting out 21. So let's go back to 20. So 20 is fine. So this thing will, output plus 20 to minus 50 accurately. Um, so that's good. Um, it also says that it's outputting the power correctly into 50 ohms. Uh, so there was some conversations online about whether this generator is outputting 50 ohms or whether it's outputting 75 ohms. And I think from this measurement, it's very clear that it's outputting 50, 50 ohms. So. It seems to be working just fine. Um, yeah, uh, so that's one of the tests. Let's see, what's the, what's the next test that I want to do? Maybe accuracy. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and set this into a frequency counter. I'll turn on my rubidium, get it warmed up, and we'll measure how accurate the uh, frequency is. All right, so I have the uh, rubidium uh, running into this frequency counter, so now it's, uh, it's locked to a rubidium. I'm outputting uh, 500 uh, megahertz on the analyzer, and yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty, pretty accurate, I would say. Uh, so let's change the frequency here on the generator. Uh, let's go to 100, 100 megahertz. Perfect. 10 megahertz. Perfect. Let's go to one gigahertz. Perfect. <laughs> All right. So it passes the frequency. Uh, it passes the frequency test with flying colors. Oh my goodness. Uh, yeah, HP goodness. Um, so yeah, there we go. Okay, so good for frequency. All right. Now that we know that it can output power uh, accurately and frequency accurately, let's see if it can measure things accurately. So I'm going to have the uh, input and the output tied together. So I'm gonna output something and try to measure it. So um, let's see here, we can go to the measure, um, 
we can do transmission measurement, reflection measurement, more there's actually power measurement and under power measurement we can then let's see we're doing CW frequency so we can set our frequency to 500 megahertz and we can set the power level to 0 dBm and we can go to calibrate and we can zero the detectors and normalize them. So now we're measuring zero. So now if we go back to power and we enter a minus 10, ah, that's measuring minus 10. So the line dropped down, minus 20, minus 30, minus 40, got a little bit of noise, minus 50. We're at minus 50, but it's quite noisy. Minus 60 is where the generator's not really outputting things well below minus 50. So again, uh, things are fine. If we turn on averaging, we can probably get that to quiet down. And there we go. So it uh, seems to be measuring fine. So it's, uh, it's outputting fine, it's measuring fine, uh, frequency's fine. Um, yeah, it seems fine. <laughs> All right, I uh, see we can do another test here. I'm going to uh, calibrate the VNA at the end of this uh, testing cable here. And so let's do that. Cal, let's make sure the Cal kit is set correctly. And we will do a one port calibration. It says uh, connect your open. And I'm using my little home built Cal kit here. Short. Load. All right. So we are calibrated. Very nice. So the one thing I wanted to do is this is a VNA. Let's test our own uh, channel two. And you can see we're right there at 50 ohms. So there's no funny business of 75 ohms going on over here. It's, a, it's, a, it's 50 ohms. And um, we can zoom in a bit if we want to look at that. Uh, so it's somewhere between 45 and 50 ohms. And then uh, most of the time it's uh, most of the time it's here within uh, two ohms. That's very, very good. Um, so if people don't believe me, they say, oh, that, that looks like a really, really big spot. Okay, let me show you. I need to move the camera a bit here. Uh, let me show you a, here's an instrument, this is, known to be a really, really good instrument. And uh, we can even turn it on. We'll just turn it under receive mode. I can do it off, but people wouldn't believe me, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn it on. Sorry, it takes a while for this one to boot up. This one boots really, really fast. It's nice. Okay, there we go. So I'll go to receiver, test, sign add. All right. So we can connect to here. Let's see, transmitter test, we want actually transmitter test. Doesn't matter. Um, so I think you can see that that input port is actually a little worse than, uh, than ours. Uh, and this is definitely a this is definitely a 50 ohm machine. So that's kind of what a good HP machine looks like is, is sort of like that, right? Um, so I think we're I think we're in good shape as far as uh, matching. All right, I think that's all the testing I'll do today. Um, everything seems to be passing with flying colors. So uh, yeah, seems to be in great shape. <laughs>